United Arab Emirates paper The National reports that the contents of a secretly recorded video threaten to gravely embarrass Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and the Obama administration. The film was shot, apparently without Netanyahu's knowledge, nine years ago, when the government of Ariel Sharon had started reinvading the main cities of the West Bank to crush Palestinian resistance in the early stages of the Second Intifada. On a visit to a home in the settlement of Ofra in the West Bank to pay condolences to the family of a man killed in a Palestinian shooting attack, he makes a series of unguarded admissions about his first period as prime minister from 1996 to 1999. He tells the family that he deceived the United States president at the time, Bill Clinton, into believing he was helping implement the Oslo Accords, the U.S.-sponsored peace process between Israel and the Palestinians, by making minor withdrawals from the West Bank while actually entrenching the occupation. He boasts that he thereby destroyed the Oslo process. He dismisses the United States as, quote, easily moved to the right direction and calls high levels of popular American support for Israel absurd. He also suggests that far from being defensive, Israel's harsh military repression of the Palestinian uprising was designed chiefly to crush the Palestinian Authority led by Yasser Arafat so that it could be made more pliable for Israeli diktats. The contemptuous view of Washington Netanyahu demonstrates in the film will confirm the suspicions of many observers, including Palestinian leaders, that his current professions of good faith should not be taken seriously. More significantly, he has so far avoided engaging meaningfully in the limited talks the White House is promoting with the Palestinians, while the pace of settlement building in the West Bank has been barely affected by the 10-month freeze due to end in September. In the meantime, planning officials have repeatedly approved large new housing projects in East Jerusalem and the West Bank that have undercut the negotiations and will make the establishment of a Palestinian state viable or otherwise far less likely.